Right. Uh, hi, YouTube. We're going to do uh, Jara by the Fleet Foxes. And I hope I pronounced that right. Um... Good one. I'm gonna put a lot of reverb on here. All right, and they're, they're, I think they're playing partial chords. I don't think they're playing like full bar chords or full. You know, there might be an acoustic playing uh, the full bar chord in the background, buried in the mix. But uh, it's not. That's not the main thing. Uh, in the beginning of the song, the main, uh, most prominent musical feature is a riff. Something like that. Okay, I'm playing it all on the D string just so you can keep it simple. You can move it to diff You can move it to the open position, or you could play it uh, at the seventh fret. It would be very easy to play. But it starts out with an open D, goes to uh, the fifth fret, and then we're going to be on the odd fret, so we're going to be five, seven, nine. Then we're going to go up to ten, and then we're going to go back down to nine, and then we're going to end it on the third, where we come back to the F. Or, or we go to the F for the first time. All right, and that's. F octave there. Alright, so it goes like this. Something ends, the first musical phrase ends on the F, and then the second musical phrase ends on the open D, which is part of your G. Alright, so playing it all on the D string just to keep it simple for the lesson. All right. All right. And the chords are just going. Well, what I think they, you know, I've talked about this in a different episode uh, or different uh, lesson. playing stuff like partial shapes like this is a partial uh, this is like your F shape G okay or they could be playing it with a D shape full bar chords. They they have a lot of reverb on their clean guitar sound. All right. So basically that riff and the chord progression of uh, G to F and then F to G, that continues up until about minute 134 of the song. Then what happens is they're saying, uh, it's a sign of the rise and fall. Then they go to a C, and it goes to C. It stays on C for like two measures. D is a passing chord on our way to E minor. B minor is a passing chord as we go to C. And then that continues up until uh, the end of that section where it goes uh, D, it holds on the E minor, and then it goes right into the G. Back to the GF section. minor to G makes sense because E minor is the relative minor of G. So 
when you go back to G, it's it's very smooth transition. All right, and then uh, we have section one again continues for about another minute in the song, and then that brings us up to about two minutes thirty seconds in the song. Okay, and then it does the same thing it did the first time. It goes to section two. on the C, passing chord on the D, passing chord on, uh, after it goes to passing chord on the D, it goes to E minor again, then hangs on the E minor, and then we have a passing chord B minor, and uh, by the way, if you're having trouble with these bar chords, I would just delete the passing chord. <laughs> just go. <laughs> just go a C to E minor. Then we go into a new section. We'll call that section three. <laughs> uh, at about three minutes, 10 seconds, section two is coming to an end. Remember, section two is uh, going from this uh, C passing chord D to E minor, passing chord B. But uh, at about three minutes, 10 seconds, it stops. It stops on the D uh, from the D. It goes F, 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 C. It's on the G, it goes back into section one. All right, so that third section, just to review and make it clear, F to C. song just with that F to G, uh, G to F section, section one, we called it. All right, thanks for watching. That's Fleet Foxes, uh, Jara. If you have any questions or comments, uh, put them in the, put them in the comment section. All right, thanks.